Hello everyone, this is my walkthrough of example one for chi-squared test of goodness of fit. Here we have a screenshot from our Google site. A jar holds 200 Skittles. The table below represents the number of each color of Skittles in the jar. The jar is advertised to have approximately 25% red Skittles, 15% green, 40% blue, and 20% yellow. With a 5% level of significance, find the test statistic critical value and determine if this jar is statistically abnormal or not. And here is a table of actual, the actual number of Skittles in the jar. So, what we want to do first is we want to find our expected value. Because here we have our observed, so we want to find our expected. In order to do that, we have to multiply the amount that there are. We know that there's 200 Skittles. We can also add this up and then we get 200. 200 Skittles. We multiply that by the expected amount that was given to us in the problem. So here we are supposed to have 25% red Skittles. So 25% 250. Right? Now, I'm going to do the same thing for green, blue, and yellow using the data that we were given above. So 50% of 230. 80 expected blue and 40 expected yellow. Now we have our observed up here, which is given to us. And here we have our expected values. Now, in order to find our test statistic, remember we want to use the equation that was given on the Google site. Here, I'll pull it up. Here, our test statistic is used by this formula. So, I have it actually right here. I'm going to use this. But to make it easier for ourselves, first we want to put our, our uh, expected values into our list. So under calculator navigation, you will learn how to get to your stat list. You want to put your observed in one, expected into other. For this example, I will be using L1 for observed and L2 as expected. So for red, we had 50 expected. For green, we had 30. For blue, we had 80. And for yellow, we had 40 expected. Now, moving over to our test statistic value. So, we want to add up all of our values, but we want to do observed minus expected squared over the expected value. So, observed for red was 54 minus our expected, which was 50. We want to square that over 50. Now we would be doing this for every single data that, that we have, every pair, every pair that we have. Minus 30 squared, this is for our green, plus for our blue, plus for our yellow, finally. Now, in order to make this a little bit easier for us, instead of adding all of this up, what we could do is why I actually made us put our data into our list is under calculator navigation, you will learn how to get to your chi-squared goodness of fit test. Now, using your observed uh, column, I used L1 in this case and L2 for expected, you can find your test, test statistic. But you want to find your degrees of freedom because it asks for that. So here we were given three, four, I mean four, sorry. We were given four data uh, cells. So our equation to find degrees of freedom would be n minus three. three four minus one, sorry. It's equal to three. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Our degrees of freedom would be three. So when we're plugging our values into our goodness of fit test on our calculator, we want our degrees of freedom to be three. Now we go ahead and calculate on our calculator and our test statistic should come out to be 1.778. Now to find the critical value, we have to use the table that is on our key information tab on the website. And our degrees of freedom comes into play there once again. So. Here, we would look for a 5% level of significance here. Then we go down to three degrees of freedom. One, two, three. 
So our critical value would be 7.81. Sorry. So as you can see, our test statistic, I'll circle it in blue. Box said sorry. Our test statistic did not exceed our critical value. So what that means is that this specific jar is not statistically abnormal. Sure, it may not be exactly what the manufacturer intended, but it is not statistically abnormal for us to warrant any sort of inspection upon the machine that is manufacturing them. Another way that we could look at this is on your calculator, when you calculated your test statistic, you should have also gotten your p-value right under it. If you see under calculator navigation, you, you can uh, see where it shows up. So we got our p-value. Oops, I should be in black, sorry. We got our p-value, 0 0.620. And our level of significance was 5. Our critical value is 0 0.5. 0, 0.05 and here we see that our p-value is actually greater than our critical value so that is another indicator that this is not a statistically abnormal jar and that should be the answer to the question so we would write out let me uh tie this up there is not sufficient statistical evidence to Aren't the statement that the jar is statistically abnormal? I cannot type. Here we are. Now, when you're writing out this, you would also want to have a null hypothesis, but this is just the bare, bare bones of a chi-squared test. So this would be your general statement. Hello everyone, this is example two of a chi-squared test of goodness of fit. This question is talking about Epic Games, the video game developer behind Fortnite. Produces new cosmetic character skins for Fortnite on a weekly basis. These skins have different rarities, ranging from uncommon to legendary. With a new wave of skins that they are releasing, Epic is expecting an equal amount of sales for each rarity. The table below is the actual sales of the skins. Using a 2.5% level of significance, determine the test statistic critical value and whether the sales is statistically abnormal or not, just like the last example. So, the only thing that's different, we don't have actual given proportions for what uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary should be. But, we do know that it is given that... They are expecting an equal amount of sales for each rarity. That means the expected value for uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary should all be the same number. To do that, we calculate our expected value. We take the average 137 for uncommon, 176 for rare, 158 for epic, 239 for legendary. Divide that by 4 because we're given 4 values, and our expected value comes out to be 177.5. Now, we put this into our little table. Since they're all the same, each expected value would be the same number. Now, just like in the last example, you can use any different column. I'm just going to be using L1 and L2. Simplest, fastest, it's already in our calculator from last example, if you followed what I did. Now, our test statistic. Same formula, different numbers. So, we plug in our observed minus expected, square that, divided by our expected. And we do this for every single one. So that was uncommon. Now we have rare. Now we have Epic with 158 skins sold, but expected 177.5. Square that divided by the expected. And same thing for the last one for Legendary. Now, 
Now, when we're running our test, we wanted to find our degrees of freedom. Now, we were given four different cells, four different counts. So, do four minus three, big, four minus one, sorry. Four minus one, because the equation that we have to use is n minus one. n is the amount of data cells that we have. Four minus one is equal to three, so our degrees of freedom is three. So, after plugging everything into our test, our test statistic would come out to be 32.704, if you followed the steps correctly, and our p-value came out to be 0 0.0000372. Very small number. So, our critical value. We know that our level of significance, our level of significance should be 2.5%. Our degrees of freedom is 3. Now, if we go back to our key information tab on the website, and we look at the chart, we can see that at 2.5 degrees of 2.5 level of significant percent, degrees of freedom of 3, we have a critical value of 9.35. Now, since our test statistic is greater than our critical value, it exceeds it, we are going to say that this week of sales was statistically abnormal. Or we could make the argument that since our p-value is less than our level of significance, our level of significance to a 0 0.025, that would also be an indicator that we had a statistically abnormal week of Fortnite skin sales.